Big so we're going to be talking about Sin Shop this episode for the first part of our round table. <sighs> so I hear that you're soldering. going to be doing something for the very first time. Yep. And I'm what's going to be soldering um, something together. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> um, so first of all, Sin Shop is a hacker space here in downtown Las Vegas. It's a member run co-op. Um, we teach things, among them soldering chocolate making, uh, sewing, things like that. Um, so today we're going to teach Dylan to solder for the first time. And we have a sound to light visualizer. So basically, uh, if it works out, um, by next episode we'll have like another little applause meter up here. And if you guys yell real loud, hopefully the lights will light up. And <laughs> right, we'll yeah, be reacting to them. So. And this um, is not a drill. Like Dylan has not soldered before. We didn't do a run through. And so as long as we don't set fire to the desk, <laughs> I think we're going to be OK. Yeah, it should be fine. So we have this little board I'm not here. Stupid. I am stupid. <laughs> we have the components. They're all marked out here. They're marked out here. There's instructions inside, so we, we won't mess this up. Awesome. Um, so the important thing to know about soldering is um, it's melting a softer metal, uh, the solder, uh, which is usually a tin alloy, um, in order to make contact between uh, two harder metals, usually the copper clad on the board and like the little metallic legs. Um, so okay, why don't we start out metal. with um, with maybe like one of these LEDs. Um, so you can see this is a, a red LED. It's basically like a, a tiny little light bulb. Um, and one side of it is Got flat. Fireman's hat. Um, and then there are four little spaces marked out here for the LEDs. So if you'd like to find the flat area and pop it in. Okay, so I just stick it through those little holes. Yep, find the flat area on the LED and line it up to the flat area on the board. <laughs> and how'd your first one go? Is it okay? It wasn't too bad. I was actually 15, so I like probably didn't Susan have my Susan is a veteran over solderer. Achiever. Really? Uh, <laughs> this is a soldering iron. It's got a hot end 15. and a cold end, and you want to hold on to the cold end. Um, Definitely don't grab it by the pointy yeah. end. That's going to be really hot. Uh, this is a metallic sponge. You clean the soldering iron first oh, I thought that to get metal. anything okay. on there. Well, it's well, it's a metallic sponge. It sort of scrubs off the bits. Sometimes you can also, you also clean the kitchen sponge. with it. You can. It's like a Brillo pad. This is the solder. Um, and so the other important thing to note is if if uh, if either of the parts is cold, it's not going to make a good joint. So what you want to do is you want to touch the uh, the soldering iron to both parts so i'm touching it to the can you see to the copper yeah, and sure and sure. one of the legs of the lead and instead of heating up the solder directly you're just going to touch the solder and sort of like get in between there oh you're melting this little thing on it yep the little wire and okay. so there you go and now that's it's, it uh, he's done now it's soldered then the only thing that remains is to snip okay. off the extra leg <laughs> so you, you hold it and you just snip it off okay easy enough easy enough now, why would somebody want to solder? This, now, what's the point of all this? It's like, to make an make... electrical connection between a component and a wire or a trace in the uh, in the PC board like that. So this can become a robot. Um, or a light meter, yeah. <laughs> and how to do this? Don't do it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like golfing, you know. Like, it's sort of like eating a putt when you go. Anybody in the audience can do this. Um, you just need a soldering iron and solder. But um, if you come to Sin Shop and sign up for one of the classes, um, I think they're, what, 10, 15 bucks or something like that. Yeah. They're really cheap. Um, you show up for a couple hours and you leave. Did you, sm did you smoke like that? Okay. It smoke's okay. <laughs> At this stage, the smoke's okay. And you leave as a solder, a soldering person, so a solderman. We've, we've had some really cool workshops. So one of my favorite workshops was learning how to make a, your own power supply so you can power other electronics. And that sounds like super dangerous, but it's actually cool. really cool. And at the end of the day, you get to take home something that works out, too much? out of your class. So yeah. we have so a lot of really cool hands-on stuff where so you actually get to take it home. Just melt, melt, it, melt it down to the, to the circuit. Yo, see, you're doing really good. Mm, that's not a bubble sand, but yeah, no, we're working on it. From it's, a distance, at least Susan cool. thinks it looks good. <laughs> cool. Good? Yeah. Can I get a round of applause, so. please? <laughs> Let me see about that. So I think we should let Dylan yeah, continue to solder and uh, mm -hmm. we'll move it to Susan. To Before to we move it though, oh. um, how can people get involved? Like if they want to sign up for a class or if they want to do a tour of the hackerspace to see what it's all about, how can they do that? That's a fantastic point. Um, so you can check out our website at sinshop.org. It's S-Y-N-S-H-O-P.org. Um, stop by. There's uh, open hours at the top of the website. Um, it's most days, except for Tuesdays and Sundays, from 6 to 11 or so, but check the website to make sure. If you stop by, uh, there'll be happy people there, um, okay. overjoyed to give you a tour. Um, and you can also uh, link to, or the, the website is linked to our uh, meetup.com page. It has a list of all the classes. 
So cool. That's fun. It's awesome. And yeah, Dylan, we hope to see you in there because <laughs> you're already already on your way. Yeah. Cool. Well, I will let you practice your soldering while I talk to Tanya. <laughs>